Okay, so let's create a new Unity project and let's play with some forces. So, Unity hoops. Let's do these things. And then we'll do a new project. Do a 2D. We'll do this in 2D. Although you could do this in 3D. 2D demo forces project. And I've already done sort of the honor of finding a fun little sprite image um, that I'll pull into this uh, example. Importing small assets. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create a vehicle, much like we did before. We're going to add the vectors we need, the acceleration, direction, velocity, position, all that great stuff. And we're going to add mass. And then we're going to create an apply force function. And then we're going to create a couple of forces. And we'll add gravity and we'll add friction. I'm going to skip this new version. Great. So let's, first of all, Take our game so we can see what's going on here. Great. And now we're looking what we're looking at. Let's create a couple of new folders. So, like, let's um, images, right? So, we'll do the necessary scripts, scenes, prefabs. Create scripts. Create prefabs. I'm going to pull in my Canon PNG. Oh no, my spacecraft. Whoops, that's the one. All right, images. Great. And now from this, I can create a. Great. Why is that not? actually getting rid of the transparent background. Oh, because I downloaded it wrong. Of course. All right, let me find a different one. All right. No, I don't think that JPEG has that. It's, these are lies. Okay. No. There we go. All right, this is a really lame one, but it will do. Great. So now I've got this fun little stripe, uh, sprite. I'm going to uh, rename it as my vehicle sprite, and then I'm going to uh, edit this thing. No. Right. I'm going to create a prefab of it. Cool. So now I've got this. Um, I always forget. Let me put this into actually the prefab. Um, and then let me open this prefab, right? And let me I always forget where the sprite editor is. So I'm going to pause this really quickly while I figure this out. Okay, sorry. So 
to actually edit the sprite, as you recall, you have to go to the sprite editor. Um, all I'm doing here is I'm trying to make sure that my, um, my, pos my center point is correct. It looks pretty okay. I'm gonna move it just a little bit down in the Y. Because I want it to sort of rotate a little bit more um, organically. Well, I'll keep it at five. I'll keep it at five. Right. Apply. Nice. So I can go back to my game. Uh, this is quite large. So first I'm going to put it at zero. Um, the sprite, I'm actually going to edit the prefab. The way I do that is I click on this and then I can scale the sprite to be, yeah, that's, that feels better. Cool. So, I mean, maybe I'll move this over here. I know it's a little bit too small. Um, Cool. Um, great, so now if I play, nothing will happen. So we haven't added anything. Great, so now we're going to create a script for this. New script, vehicle. Um, that's going to end up here, we're going to move this in there, and let's pop open our vehicle um, code. In the meantime, let's go on. And so now we're going to do what we did before, but we're going to use it, do it with forces. So now forces will be the only way to move the object. And so the vehicle will sort of be on its own to figure out where it's going and what it's doing and update itself. So what do we need? Well, we need a position. We need a velocity. We still need an acceleration, right? Because that's where all the forces are going to accumulate. And we need a direction because uh, that is how we're going to apply a velocity. And we definitely need a mass. So what of these things do we no longer need if we go about it with forces, right? Before we would normalize the direction, multiply the direction times acceleration, add acceleration to the velocity, we decelerating, we're going the opposite direction, yada yada. It, it, with this new forces approach, we don't, we no longer need to multiply the direction by the acceleration. That's not going to be the case. We're always going to create a force that's going to do that for us. We no longer have to decelerate explicitly because there will be forces playing um, in action that will slow us down. And we also don't need to limit the velocity to a maximum speed. This will be done through forces inhibiting our object. Now, in theory, we could have done that before, but now with forces and the way that we're going to accumulate all the forces, we, we can uh, just do it in a way where uh, it automatically will limit itself. So let's go back to our code. Great. And hopefully you can see this. Um, first thing we do is we want to create our private vector 3. Um, let's call it point position. Let's save a little bit of space here, and we're going to initialize this here. Um, great. And then we need we need to have direction, velocity, and acceleration. Direction. And then we're going to have this new one, float mass. In fact, let's make this public so we can mess with it in the inspector. And let's make this one. And what does one mean? Well, one means a uh, kilogram. One kilogram, which is cool. Why can I not do this? 
Oh, okay. Fine. Um, great. Now we've got almost everything. Uh, and now we need to set, set up our update um, from before. So in our update, uh, we want to set this such that our velocity is going to be plus equals to our acceleration, right? We don't need to do the clamp magnitude, and then we're going to do our point position plus equal to our velocity. And we're always going to uh, let's speed this up a bit, normalize. And then finally, our, we're going to zero out our acceleration. That works. Great. And here we're using great. Um, and our direction, we're going to be pointing up. Because, as you can see in the game, right, our little guy there is pointing up. Cool. So what happens if we run this? Nothing. Nothing will happen. One thing that we can test to see that this is working is we can give this a acceleration of 1, and because it'll get zeroed out, it should move. Or not? Well, all right. Well, we need to actually um, set our our transform. And then uh, I always forget the code for this. One pause coming up. 